Mr. President, the Republican frontrunner today outlined his plan oh, to, no, to pay for uh, the law and order. <laughs> <laughs> barring undocumented immigrants uh, for, in the U.S. from sending money back home. What would be the real implication of this plan? And, and are his foreign policy proposals already doing damage to U.S. relations abroad? Uh, the answer to the latter question is yes. Uh, I think that uh, I've been very clear earlier that I am getting questions constantly from foreign leaders about uh, some of the uh, uh, wackier suggestions that are being made. Uh, I, I do have to emphasize that uh, it's not just Mr. Trump's proposals. I mean, you're also uh, hearing concerns uh, about Mr. Cruz's proposals, uh, which in some ways are just as draconian when it comes to immigration, for example. Uh, the implications with respect to ending remittances, many of which, by the way, are from legal immigrants and from individuals who are sending money back to their families, uh, are enormous. First of all, they're impractical. We just talked about the difficulties of trying to enforce huge outflows of capital. The notion that we're going to track every Western Union, uh, you know, a bit of money that's being sent to Mexico, uh, you know, good luck with that. Then we've got the issue of the implications for the Mexican economy, uh, which in turn, if it's collapsing, actually sends more immigrants north because they can't find jobs back in Mexico. Uh, but this is just one more example of something that uh, is not thought through and is primarily put forward for political consumption. Uh, and uh, as I've tried to emphasize throughout, uh, we've got serious problems here. We've got big issues around the world. People expect the President of the United States and the elected officials in this country to treat these problems seriously, to put forward policies that have been um, examined, analyzed, are effective, where unintended consequences are taken into account. They don't expect half-baked notions coming out of uh, the White House. Uh, we can't afford that.